Hello guys, welcome to the vlog! leprechaun showed up so what tell us what usually happens on st patrick's day uh i forget what the leprechaun does but i think he leaves clues for to a treasure i thought he usually just leaves a yeah he usually just leaves a basket basket i guess we better look around and see where he oh, left the it backyard. the backyard you never know You didn't see him? No. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, mine. Oh, you're going to share them with me? Nope. Ooh. Oh, what's that? I think they're like one of those chocolate coins, maybe? I don't know. Ooh, ah. Oh, it looks like pirate <laughs> stuff <gasps> to be a pirate. Ooh. 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 Trading cards. You got bubbles? Oh, I got a uh, coloring thing and some sketchy thing. And another pirate thing and another pirate thing. Wait, no, this is a whoopee cushion. Oh, yeah. And this. Uh, wait, what is this supposed to control? I think you just put the car in and then it, like, will go really fast. Oh, this is the car. I thought it was like a little thing, like one of those levers. So what do you think about what the leprechaun brought you? Yeah. You I like still it? still don't know what these pirate things are. I think they're, I think they're like dress up things. Either that or something else, but I want to play with this. Okay. When you need Papa Burr's like help to do the simple toys. Whoa. Well, uh, I'm sorry for whoever was driving that. today to see my St. Patrick's Day fun recipe. I actually saw this on Do It On A Dime and I wanted to try it and see kind of how it turned out but I did a little bit of my own twist on it. So it is St. Patrick's Day here, hence my green, and I have my corned beef going in my crock pot and now I just want to make this fun jello dessert for my son.
quick, fun jello. Um, if I had some sprinkles, I would sprinkle some rainbow sprinkles on there, kind of like end of the rainbow. But I don't, so what can you do? But I'm gonna go eat. <laughs>